Hey guys, Ranger Joe's here. I've been sitting on this for a few days, chewing on it. Uh, the big breaking news of H1Z1 evolving into two separate games. And that explains why the server wipe didn't happen in this past Tuesday like I thought it was going to. Uh, so apparently on February 17th is going to be the big, the big wipe or the big change in the game. And I'm going to go through uh, a little bit of the paragraph of this that's written here. Um, talking to a few people, they, you know, they believe it's going to make the game better. But let's go through this. Uh, I'm going to make a video on this and post this up. I don't want to sound like Angry Joe here, um, but I'm not real happy about it. So let's go through this real quick. H1Z1 has been an incredible journey since its inception, and the time spent in early access has been invaluable to the development direction of the game. Our community has been a huge part of the game's roadmap and success. Last year we started to notice new player trends emerging. Both the initial survival game and the battle royale game uh, mode now have strong populations who almost exclu exclusively play one or the other. Hmm. Yeah, the streamers play Battle Royale exclusively or nearly exclusively. And then others play the survival game. Uh, I don't see that. I've played both. I tend to jump back and forth from time to time, and I would expect most players do that. I could be wrong, but I think that's a little bit of uh, bullshit there. Uh, the more we develop this game with you, our community, the more we realize that in order to fully support both aspects of H1Z1 and their respective players, we needed to make them their own standalone games supported by their own dedicated development teams. Hmm, doesn't say anything about increasing any development teams. It says they're splitting the development teams. Many players in the community have been discussing splitting the game, and we've heard you loud and clear. We want to make sure we give both titles the support they need and deserve uh, to truly flourish. Uh, sounds a little a little uh, sketchy to me. Uh, I haven't heard any players in the community discussing splitting the game. Not that it hasn't happened, but I don't see the big deal. We have one launcher to go to either one. We've decided to do just that. We're excited to announce they're excited to announce that the survival game will now be called H1Z1 Just Survive with a renewed focus on truly de uh, delivering a persistent open world zombie survival experience where scavenging, crafting, and base building are the difference between life and death. Uh, through in-game feedback as well as discussions on Reddit, Steam, and Twitter, our community has been influential to use or to us in arriving at this decision. H1Z1 family is growing and we can't wait to see what is in store for the H1Z1 franchise in the future. H1Z1 has been out for over a year and every time, and I know that they have to wipe servers from time to time. My experience is every time there's a wipe, especially in the last, I'd say, four, five, maybe six months, there are continually less people playing the survival game. It's not a big deal with uh, Battle Royale because you start with nothing, you get stuff relatively quick, and you either leave very quick or you get towards the end of that match that lasts about 45 minutes. It is perfect for streamers, uh, and that would explain why all these skins have the streamer t-shirts. I don't have a problem with it, but I think they put way too much emphasis on skins and I understand why to do that as well because that makes them money they sell the keys for these uh, skins and I have some myself I'm not complaining except for the fact that rendering totally sucks in this game and I think that's the biggest problem in this game there's no sense in having a ghillie suit or having camouflage if you're gonna be in your tidy whities at about a hundred meters or a hundred yards away and then out past that, farther out past that, you're nothing but a black stick. And it's pretty obvious that it's a, um, a survivor and not a zombie because of your running. Uh, the movements are different. Uh, they, they've made them a little bit more uh, catch your eye with the zombies because they move differently now. Some run and some sachet, I would say. But still the same. Uh, rendering is awful in this game. 
and it has been since the inception. And if they don't fix that, uh, it's going to continue, at least for me, be the worst, one of the worst things in this game. So let's go to the Battle Royale. Why change the name? Everybody knows it. It works well. Whoever came up with King of the Kill, in my thoughts, should be fired. It's awful. Um, just off the cuff, I could think of a couple names that would work better, even though Battle Royale, I think, is perfect. Uh, last Man Standing, I don't know, Big Dog, One Big Dog, I don't know. Anything's better than King of the Kill. It's, I don't know, King of the Hill's better than King of the Kill. So anyway, it says that uh, we'll each have their own dedicated development resources. You can expect to get to know the newest additions uh, to the teams as we continue our behind-the-scenes look with dev blogs, live streams, and more. They will also have separate social channels, so it'll be easier to keep track of your game you care most about. hoop de doo Anyone who already owns H1Z1 will be granted both versions, and we'll see it listed in your Steam Games inventory on February 17th, the official day of the split. Additionally, uh, existing crates, keys, and items will be duplicated across both games as originally intended. Airdrop tickets will be usable in H1Z1 Just Survive, and event tickets will be usable in H1Z1 King of the Kill. Uh, if you have these item, items on Steam Market, they will be returned to your player inventory and post split, you can relist them for sale under the correct game title. Don't have H1Z1 yet? We're offering new customers a chance to get in on the action before the split. Okay. If you purchase H1Z1 anytime on or before February uh, 16th, you'll be granted both games, Survival and King of the Kill, at the time of the split. Starting today, H1Z1 is participating in the Steam Lunar Sale and you can pick it up for discounted price. It shows right there at the top fourteen ninety-nine. Starting February seventeenth, both games will be available separately for nineteen ninety-nine. I understand Daybreak is in the business of making money. They have to do that to stay in business. But this is really a scam in my in my eyes. I, I don't get it. Uh, if Battlefield, I play a lot of Battlefield 4, um, have in the past, I haven't lately because I've been playing a lot of this, but if DICE or EA came out with, uh, Conquest, Rush, uh, Capture the Flag, and then said, oh, we're just going to split them up so we can develop them better, and you had to pay for each individual game mode. Um, not just maps, but game mode, uh, I think the Battlefield community would just pretty much have a fit, and that would be the end of Battlefield. And to me, I think it's one of the best games out there. Yeah, I'm a Battlefield uh, junkie, I guess you could say. But uh, it's fun, and, and first and foremost, a game has to be fun or it's not going to survive. Now, I used to play Day, Day Z. I played Day Z Mod for quite some time and then went to uh, Day Z Standalone. And uh, I jumped from that to this um, quite some time ago for a lot of the same reasons. They just didn't seem to be moving forward uh, quick enough. They were just rolling along with this uh, alpha experience. And I uh, wasn't happy about it, but uh, it's possible I could be going back to Day Z. So here you have it. There's some questions, some Q&A on here, and some different things. And I don't want to sound like Angry Joe, but I am not happy about this because I don't see it making the game better. I see where survival mode is going to be left to wither because that's not going to make the money that uh, is making for Battle Royale or this King of the Kill. And um, I think that's what they're putting all their emphasis in. Uh, there's so many things that they could do better in this game. Um, I was working, I'll probably put a video out on it in the next few days, maybe this week, close to the wipe or to the split here on the 17th, uh, putting down ground tampers, something as simple as putting down ground tampers and getting them to, uh, 
be flush up to one another, you know, to butt up against one another and be nice and smooth is ridiculously hard. There's no reason why if you put two, three, four, I don't care. I was putting nine down that they don't snap together and be flush. No reason whatsoever. That should be one of the things that worked months ago. And that is not very, not very good in this game. Uh, and like I stated earlier, the rendering is, is just terrible. Uh, not just for zombies, for, but for players as well. So there you have it. I don't want to rant too long on this. I'm not happy about it, but it's coming apparently. And I guess we should have expected some big changes being that they got a new boss here uh, just uh, a few weeks ago. So there you have it. H1Z1 evolving into two games. And uh, I didn't see it on here, at least, uh, but I did read somewhere where the game will no longer be free. It's not going to be free when it's released. Oh, uh, yeah, here it goes. It is one of the second to the last Q&A here. Will H1Z1 just survive in H1Z1 King of the Kill become free-to-play games after they come out of early access? The answer is, at this time, we do not have any plans to make either H1Z1 just survive or H1Z1 King of the Kill free-to-play titles. So wipe that out of your mind. It's not going to happen. It's going to be, you're going to have to pay for it. And I really don't have a problem with paying for it. But all these uh, skins that, you know, you got to pay for is a bit ridiculous. So there you have it. Do you agree with me? Do you think this is going to be better, worse? I don't think it's going to be better. Um, I don't know. So do uh, give me a like, comment below. Certainly subscribe if you don't already. I try to get these videos out a couple times a week. So have a good one. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.